The Feral Druid in Cataclysm is in my opinion the tank that has the most intricate and interesting gearing where knowing how to optimize your setup to fulfill the role you're assigned to do on a boss by boss basis will make you stand out from other Ferals. As a Feral, you should aim to be prepared for three objectives. To tank, to hybrid tank, and to DPS. In tier 11, bosses like Atremides will have you in pure DPS gear, while fights like Halfus, that is pretty rough on the tanks, will require you to optimize more towards survivability. And as such, having multiple gear sets will be required if you want to be the best feral tank you can be. In this video, I'll be going over two previous sets, as well as a full best in slot set that you should aim to have before the end of the first raid tier. This video will be about breaking down the itemization we want to shoot for for tier 11, but if you're interested in a feral tanking guide, then make sure to subscribe, as I have one coming out before the release of the first raid tier. In that video, we'll be going over everything you need to know that isn't gearing, including professions, rotations, all the weaving we'll be doing as ferals and cataclysm, and much more. Before we take a look at the gear, it's worth having a brief conversation about stats and what we should look to prioritize. As a general rule of thumb, as a feral, when you are tanking 100%, then defensively you want to have stamina until you're comfortable not being bursted down, then agility, with dodge and mastery being about equal in effectiveness, followed by crit, lastly, hit, expertise, and haste. Now, with the way we play the game nowadays, hardly calls for gearing strictly for mitigation, and even so, a Feral Druid will spend a significant amount of time in cat form. As such, to me, dodge is a completely dead stat unless you play at a very casual level or you're the main tank for your guild. Stacking stamina kind of shares the same fate, where it's very good if you are actively tanking, both defensively and offensively, due to vengeance, but completely useless while in cat form. As such, once you hit an HP pool that you are comfortable with, going with agility over mastery over crit will be the way to go for most people. And once you're comfortable with the raid, then gearing towards hit cap and soft expertise cap will be the way to go. With that in mind, let's take a look at the balanced pre biz set. Here is a full overview of the gear you'll want to have before setting foot in the raid while off tanking. This set is very heavy on damage, performing very close to how a pure cat DPS would, while still putting emphasis on making us tank gear through active mitigation. If you struggle a bit with big hits due to your limited health pool, then equipping a stamina trinket is not a bad idea. And of course, if you're going to be tanking heavy magical damage, then equipping a mirror of broken images should be a given. The same thing goes if you feel like you want to focus a bit more on damage, then either reforge or swap to more hit and expertise options. Since this set is pretty BOE forward, let's go over a few alternatives where applicable. For the helmet, you should really go with the engineering helm as it is way better than any of the alternatives. And engineering is a profession that every single feral druids should have. That said, if it's an alds or if money is tight, then the justice point helmet will tide you over just fine. For the neck, there's a chance that your abyss will be very expensive on launch, thus going for the revered neck from Guardians of Hydral or the one from Stonecore Heroic will be just fine. Same thing goes for the cloak, which is also a world BOE drop, and as such, a realistic pre abyss option would be the Cloak of Thread from Deadmind's Heroic. The world BOE chest is the best option, but the crafted BOE alternative is not far behind and should be obtainable by most people. For the weapon, most bizless will tell you that Elementium Polax is your pre-raid biz. But for the love of god, don't waste your money on that as it'll be incredibly expensive at launch. Instead, pick up Celisa Spear from the Lost City of Tolvir, where you'll be farming your pre-biz trinket anyhow. It's honestly a much better alternative than the Polax anyhow as a tank due to the higher mastery value. Treads of Fleeting Joy are the BOE Valor Point boots, and while I don't doubt that people will be selling them before the release of the raid, they will probably be rather expensive. So I'd most likely go for a Mastery and Haste option from Heroic Dungeons. Elementium Destroyer's Ring or Gilnean Ring of Ruination will be best in slot in the second ring slot. Both will probably cost you a decent penny, and is only slightly superior to Skull Cracker Ring. Trinket-wise, this is the best setup before the raid is released. The Tolbarad Mastery and Agility Trinket is a very good option offensively and defensively, so you'll have to make a judgement call whether or not you want to go for it over Mirror of Broken Images, which is your best defensive trinket on a lot of fights. 
If you're not planning to head into the raid right at release, you can pick up Unheated Warning, which will be a solid offensive option as people will be spamming Bastion of Twilight Trash for BOE drops. For enchants, I would go with 60 Agility and 25 Haste on Head, 50 Agility and 25 Mastery on Shoulders, 22 Agility on Cloak, 20 All Stats on Chest, 50 Agility on Bracers, 130 Agility on Staff, 65 Mastery and the Agility on Use from Engineering on Gloves, 145 Stamina and 55 Agility on Legs, and the 35 Agility on Boots. Feel free to swap around some enchants if you need more survivability. This set sims around 25k DPS while in cat form, assuming you're playing a hybrid spec. So it'll definitely make you pull your weight in the DPS department. Now let's take a look at a set that focuses purely on mitigation, which will be suited for fights where you are tanking 100% of the encounter, or if you end up being the main tank for whatever reason. This set focuses heavily on stamina, agility and mastery, while reforging anything that isn't mastery into dodge. The gear itself is very similar to what you have in your off-tanking set, so for a lot of the harder to obtain items or expensive BOE items, it may make more sense for you to pick whether you want to optimize it for off-tanking or full tanking, depending on how comfortable your guild is with the content. With how important agility is and the value stamina gives, you'll pretty much want to always go for whatever is the highest item level as a feral druid, then prioritize items with mastery over everything else. When it comes to trinkets, we'll generally want to run with Mirror of Broken Images if there is magic damage, and until you get your unsolvable riddle or if there is no magic damage, we run with Tia's Grace in the second slot or Key of the Endless Chamber if you want to pump a bit more damage. If you really just want to go full tank mode, then you can run with a Leaden Despair and or the Alchemy Stamina Trinket if you're running Alchemy as your second profession. In this set, we swap the head enchant to the defensive option while sticking with agility and mastery option in the shoulder slot. We also swap our 35 agility on boots to 25 agility and minor movement speed as we'll be spending all of our time in bear form. That brings us to the full best in slot set, and here is a full overview of everything you'll be looking to get in tier 11. In the set, we gear for agility over hit and expertise cap over mastery over crit over haste. There'll be a few items that'll be hard to get, as you may or may not be towards the top of the priority list, like off the Windstorm Ring and Neck, along with the Belt of the Fallen Brood. Just run whatever piece is the highest item level until you can get your hands on them. Trinket-wise, you'll notice that we'll be running with Key of the Endless Chamber, which technically is slightly worse than Presser's Talisman of Machination. But with how few of these we will see, you should be the last pick on the priority list and thus will probably not be attainable before we head into the next phase. We'll run with Unheeded Warning, Fluid Death, or Unsolvable Riddle until we get our trinket from Halfa's Heroic. I've linked to all of the sets in the description, so make sure to bookmark this video so that you can come back to the different sets depending on where in the gearing journey you are. If you're planning to play Feral Druid in Cataclysm, then make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell as I'll have a full-fledged Feral tanking guide coming out soon. Until then, I have a playlist with all of my Cataclysm videos for you to binge in order to fuel that Cataclysm hype. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.